Hey everybody, this is Marshall from Limited Resources. I'm flying solo on this. I just wanted to maybe do a little recording of a uh, two-man queue with the rug deck that I've been running. I made a few tweaks to it, as you can see here. I'm running um, Split Titans, Frost Titan, and Inferno Titan. And uh, I'm running three Jason Mind Sculptors, but that's just because I don't have a fourth one online. So I put in an extra uh, Oracle because, A, I really like Oracle. It's it's great against control. You just drop that thing and start getting sick advantage off of it. And also it's just a four drop, <clears throat> which you need extras of sometimes to you know uh, hit your curves properly um, I was running two precursor golem for a long time but I went back up to three because I just really liked how it fit in the curve where you could go turn two lotus cobra turn three with a fetch hit a precursor golem and just put a lot of pressure on your opponent some of the decks are really cold to that and it deals with a lot of the protection and and some of the things that you run into and it's just a big threat sure it dies to bolt and sometimes they just have it and that's it sucks and also uh, Mark of Mutiny is pretty brutal against this card, but <clears throat> beyond that, it puts a lot of heat on your opponent. I went to two Frost Titans here because I played one for a while, and every single time I played it, I just loved it. And I wanted to do it, I wanted to have another one in there. Um, the argument for Inferno Titan is that generally that it's better against aggro, but because you can just kind of wipe their board when you play it. But what I found is, is that Frost Titan will often get the job done as well because you can tap down their best threat. Um, when it comes into play, and then it makes it so that they can't really attack into a Frost Titan very often. Also, one thing I noticed about Frost Titan is that when you're ramping into him, you know, getting him out sooner than you rightfully should, he is really strong to uh, tap down a land of theirs, for example, and just cripple their turn, because it's really tough to kill a Frost Titan. There's not a whole lot that does it, and they need usually four mana for, like, a journey plus the pay, or a uh, if it's a black deck, you know... Uh, doom blade or go for the throat but they have to pay also and if they've stumbled at all you can just make them waste their whole turn on it and uh, if you if they're greedy on their colors you can take them off of that too so i've really liked frost titan now the knock on him of course is that sort of body and mind has protection from him where inferno titan doesn't care about swords at the moment the thing is is that not that many people are running body and mind um, at all anymore uh, my sideboard is flash freeze for valakut pyroclasm for um, different um aggro decks although i'm thinking about moving away from these um but i still have them in for now like this was a lot better when vampires was a thing um it still hits red for the most part and, and a few other um decks but uh, like boros and stuff but still um i'm not really sure if that's the right choice or not um i have one random summoning trap that i'm trying out i put it in in the mirror and against cobblade so i can like confidently slam down a turn two cobra and then you know hopefully get it trapped into one of my big fatties up here because this deck actually has a lot of threats this is also just good to draw late as an instant speed you know you can do it on their end step type thing i'm running nature's claims i find these really good against opposing tumble magnets and swords um also uh if you've ever gone inferno titan had somebody journey to nowhere it and then nature's claim the journey to nowhere at a convenient time it's quite a beating and then the three tumble magnets i was running one before but i actually went up to three the main reason i'm actually running these i mean they, they're good value against a lot of decks but the main reason why i'm running them is uh <laughs> against decks that run um mark of mutiny because basically what I do is I play a, I play a magnet and then I use it a couple times to prevent damage and I'll keep one counter on it pretty much at all costs because I can't remember how many times against aggressive decks. They get you down to about 9, 8, 7, 10, something like that. And then they'll just mark of mutiny your, your big payoff play, which is usually a red titan, and you're just dead. So um, I try to keep that, try to keep those in against aggro, just like I said, like I said for value and then also just for uh, mark of mutiny protection. And we're going to go ahead and play first and see what we get here. This is a fine, fine uh, keep here, so nope. So we're going to go ahead and preordain right away. Um, I usually preordain on turn one. I, I know a lot of people think that that's wrong in some decks, but I almost always try to in this deck because I want to try to set up the proper lands for Lotus Cobra and such. And actually, these look just fine. We'll keep these. So we're going to go Lotus Cobra next turn, depending on what he does here. And then turn three, we're going to have um, Precursor Golem, if, unless he can disrupt us. So there's nothing that can get in the way of this Lotus Cobra with just a blue. He could be, if he's a uh, Cobblade, he could have um, Spell Pierce. Looks like he might be a Rug Mirror here. Yeah, he's going to bolt us. Could still have Spell Pierce, but it's not that likely. Um, we don't really have a play here anyway, though, so we're just going to play our island and pass the turn with mana leak up see what he wants to do if he goes like gorge or forest we know okay tarn that still 
still along the same lines, but um, so the problem is, is it so if we go Misty Rainforest into Oracle, then uh, he can uh, mana leak it and then untap and hit a J. So we, we can't really let him do that. I'm still assuming that he's rugged at this point, or at least I mean that he's running Jace given the mana that we've seen. Just gonna pass back, which makes sense. We're just gonna keep hitting our land drops here. Oh, that's a good one. So we're gonna helm our depths and let's put this on top, this on top, this on top. So we're gonna draw the bolt and then we're just gonna shuffle away those other two lands with the misty rainforest next turn. See if he gets impatient on us and wants to try to slam a Jace. Okay, he's gonna crack his fetch here, which is a little weird. Also, we haven't seen any green out of him. He might be color screwed. Oh, it's Ascension. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to tap him out here. Yeah. I think I'm going to tap him out here so that he can't follow up with any any plays and then also so that we can um, make sure to stick. Oh, this is going to be tough, actually. Let's see what we want to do here. I mean, we're just going to tighten him, but I don't know. I'm not really sure exactly what his plan is here like I don't know if he can deal with a Titan but let's find out precursor golems obviously not as good versus him because um, his his deck packs tons of burn what's going on here oh yes him so we're just gonna make him deal with this Titan I'm not really sure I mean I don't think that they run volition reigns in the main or anything silly like that so he could just probably double bolt here, I guess, um, if he gets his Pyromancer's Ascension active. We're going to be bringing in our, uh, what's it called, our uh, Nature's Claims, of course, for this matchup. Um, and pr probably some amount of Flash Freeze as well. All right, he found a land that he wanted. I guess he could uh, just bounce the Titan be kind of awkward if he didn't pay. Okay, he paid full price, so we're okay there. All right, now we've got some decisions here. We can go with Jace. I don't. Th I think we just need to race him, though. I don't think he has a good shot at beating a Titan. So let's just keep playing our Titan over and over and smashing him with it. I mean, at this point, we can hit him. We can hit him once and just kill him because we're going to hit him for 11 or 10 or whatever, and then just bolt him. So we'll go 6-9, six, 6-3 six, to his face. He doesn't have any creatures, I'm assuming. He could be running Kiln Fiend. Some of the decks do, but it doesn't look like that's what we're facing here. See Beyond. These are all fine. He's got two counters on here, though, so he's going to start going off, but he's going to need to find a bounce spell real quick here. We also have the option of Raging Ravining, although without having a counter on it yet, we don't want to play it into Bolt anyway. He's going to have a really stacked hand, but he needs to bounce this Titan. He can Bolt it too. It'll double up. Tech Edge? That's pretty good right here. Okay, he is going to Bolt the Titan. Yeah, this is going to be tough to dig ourselves out of this hole now. All right, so what is the play here? I think I'm just going to Precursor here. No, I think I'm going to Jace here, actually. No, shoot. I have to think. I'm not used to this matchup. So he's got an active Ascension. We need to put as much heat on him as possible. If we, if we go with the Jace plan, he'll probably dedicate some resources to killing Jace, if, assuming that he resolves. If he doesn't resolve we can uh, bolt him or something, but that's not really the big deal. All right, let's let's uh, let's get Jace in there and see what happens. Okay, so Jace resolves. I think I'm just going to getting pinged by my podcasting buddy, Ryan. All right, we've got half his life total represented here. Uh, sure, we'll just do it this way. And we will...
explore. We're just going to dig here. All right. So now we're, we're going to All right. See what he does here. I mean, he should he's got a full grip and he's got an active pyromancer's ascension. I I shouldn't be able to win this game. He uh, preemptively took out my ravine, but I mean, he probably just figured eventually that I wasn't going to spend the mana to activate it when he already had um what's it called up. Now, I don't really know what Bernie has in his deck, but I mean, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run the uh run the precursor golem out there and just hope he doesn't kill it. Burst Lightning kicked is 8 damage to me. Oh, to Jace, right. Okay. That happens. We'll make him use a leak here because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play an oracle just hoping to hit another land and then chain together everything like that. Alright, well that resolved. Okay, he didn't kill it immediately and he didn't counter it. I guess that's good news. I'm not really sure. He might just have the win already and just be ignoring this. Okay. Well, I don't know what the I don't know what the copies do though. Okay. I guess they just, he doesn't have any targets because it's only non-land and I don't have any other permanents. Yep, that happens. I'm going to bolt him on end step here. Maybe we'll just get all four bolts. I mean, obviously he doesn't have any other targets than him anyway. Ravine's not a bad rip here. Go for Precursor again. He's going to leak it. And we will bolt his face. Putting him to five, which is kind of an awkward. Much better if he was at four. Somehow he has seven cards in his hand and he still hasn't found a way to actually just kill us off, though, so I guess that's good news. Okay, if I play this Oracle, now nah, then I need to hit a land for sure. I don't know what's on top, so I guess I'm just going to activate the Ravine. Get it bolted, presumably, and play the next Ravine. All right, so this is going to get bolted. It's going to get copied. And it's going to hit me for 3, so that'll put me to 12. I don't know. He can't into the Royal it. Oh, Burst Lightning. With Kicker. Okay. That happens. So he does 4 to me. I go to 11. And he kills my Ravine. And does not get the counter. And we play another Ravine. 
Yeah, this kind of sucks. I got to play like one threat at a time just to get this guy. Oh, okay. So that's eight damage. Two, four. They both. Yeah. But just yeah. So we should be dead here. I mean, any burn spell on his deck should finish us off. Because this is casting it again, right? Yeah, totally. All right. Well, it's pretty straightforward deck to play against. It's either going to get there or it's not, but we're just going to try to keep the, the supreme pressure on it. Oh, well, he's still digging. I guess that's good news. Again, any burn spell, though, kills us. But he can't really touch our Raging Ravine. It's a pretty important card against him. He's going to be seeing a lot of his deck, though, with Preordains and the like. And there's Burst Lightning. All right. Let's go to game two and see what he's got for us. Okay, Nature's Claims come in, obviously. I think I'll bring in my Trap as well. And I, will, I do want to get these Flash Freezes in. Let's get the Precursors out because he has so much burn that that's really not what we want to be doing. These guys are all what we want to be doing, though. Yes, Oracle... Cobra probably dies, but it's a good trap hitter anyway. Um, and we, if we trap into anything, we'll be pretty happy with that. Um, let me see here. J seems fine. Preordain. Bolts. No, I'm going to cut the bolts. We don't care about Lightning Bolt. Hopefully, he doesn't put in the Kiln Fiend plan, but we'll see. All right. Yep, that's a keep. Pretty easy. We've got the trap and the cobra, so we are just going to unabashedly run this cobra right into a mana leak, and actually kind of hope he mana leaks it just for the fun factor. See if we can get some huge titan down early. <clears throat> He's got bounce anyway, which means we can't just recast it, but still. All right, so do I actually not run the titan out here? Because then he can just untap and just he'll probably just bolt it instead. Ah, uh, no, I think it's still good enough to just run out here. Because he, need, he needs to find a bolt for it right quick. You, he'll have to use his turn up killing it. There it is. All right. So let's preordain and see what we get. We got a mana leak and an explore. All right. So we'll bin the mana leak. We'll keep the explore. Play this. We will explore. He allows it. And we got another one anyway. And we'll throw a tarn in there. All right, well, we're getting there. Double Mana Leak's probably decent versus him. If he slams a uh, Preordain, or what's it called here? That's pretty bad for us, but he didn't. And we're not going to run our Ravine into a Bolt and tap out, so we're just going to go ahead and pass it back to him here. I don't really want to play this game with him, but, uh, yeah, we don't have a choice. Too many counters in our hand. He'll probably just play land and pass back, and he shouldn't have any play here. Yeah. And that's all we're doing too, though, so... We'll just keep rolling with the triple or quadruple counter spells here. We can definitely out counter spell him at this point. All right, so we're going to preordain. And we will. Uh, we don't need another forest, so. Actually, we're just going to bin both of these. There's an explore. Uh, sure, let's explore. Okay. We're a little vulnerable here, but I think I'm going to, if I hit a land, I'll go for the Oracle next turn anyway. And hopefully he'll just counter it. See Beyond Resolves. All right, so he does nothing. I kind of want to hit a land here, but I guess it's not super critical. All right, that's good. Two, three, and we'll crack this for another blue and get the oracle in there. Yeah, except for that I mistapped my mana. All right, well, that's really bad. I guess it doesn't super matter, but I kind of wanted to keep that, um, that fetch activation so that I could uh, fetch away if, if it was crappy on the top. I mean, I still have a backup one, but, oh, that happens. Definitely happens. So let's see what we get. He might counter this too, but we'll counter back. Yeah, he is going to counter it. But we will too. 
Hopefully we'll hit something really good. Let's see what he does. It's going to leak it. Another flash freeze. All right. Well, sadly for him, this flash freeze is not going to resolve because we have about a billion mana leaks in our hand, and we might as well use one here and hopefully hit something big. Lotus Cobra. Well, that wasn't exactly what we wanted, but we'll take it. We did dig through a bunch of lands. I wouldn't mind that nature's claim at some point here because we are tapped out now, which is really annoying. Ah, oh, that sucks. Let's see what he does. Well, he's still trying to he's still trying to dig so he can hit that uh hit his pyromancer's ascension. That's what he wants to do. These are pretty good for doing that though. All right, he burst lightning the cobra. Although I don't really think I love that play. Uh, one, two, three, four. I can activate the ravine and start beating him down. He doesn't seem to have anything. I think I'm gonna just do that. Oops. I keep mistapping my mana here. That's what we want. All right. Also, be nice if uh, if this thing actually got the counter to stick on it, and it did. All right. So we've got a plan now. We are just going to keep beating him down with this ravine, relentless assault style, because he can't touch it. His deck can't naturally touch something like this now. This is a little awkward, though, because he could definitely have the other Burst Lightning. No, it's, yeah, because then that will actually kill it. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I actually have the mana now. Oh, yeah, sweet, I can even counter. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can Flash Freeze. So this is actually really good. Get this going. Bash him. And let's see what he does. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, he could have just a counter, counter reverse counter on us. All right, well, we will attempt a leak. And he's gonna counter back. All right, you got it. That sucks, because that was like our big threat. But I mean, what else is he gonna do with all those counters? He's still just desperately trying to rip for a, uh, what's it called? Well, actually this isn't too bad though, because we've got flash freeze and mana leak in hand. The mana leak's definitely lost some some of its muster for us here, but Jace. Okay. You, sir, are a welcome addition to the team. Get in there, JC. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and bin whatever he put on top with the Halimar depths here. Yes. And uh, make him, I'm just going to keep, I think I'm just going to keep plussing because he doesn't have any threat. No, actually he can just eventually bounce Jace, so that's no good. Pretty good. Let's just keep doing this. Burst Lightning. Yeah, I'll put that on the bottom as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and explore here. Just because we can. And we'll play our land. All right. We've got another threat. He's going to take out our ravine now. Yeah, that's probably smart. Oh, that's not a bad rip. Let's keep going up. I'm going to start brainstorming at some point here, but right now I just want to keep fate sealing while it's profitable. He, he, I'm sure he's got some type of burn that he can use to just start taking Jace down a little bit so that he doesn't get out of control. But yeah, he can just do that. I uh, can mana leak it. That doesn't do anything. No, you got it. I got good value out of it, and I know that I'm going to be able to resolve him again because he just drew a mountain anyway. I'm going to plus Jace again just to keep him out of bolt range and out of... Uh, Burst lightning range. Let's see a land here. That is a non land. We will put that on the bottom, I guess, and uh, just keep trucking here. He's going to stagger shock Jace. 
Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to make him burn because the thing is, is that if I counter the stagger shock, he doesn't get the second one either. So it's 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 pretty good to be able to to counter that stagger shock. These leaks are looking worse and worse. Okay, so he's just got another one. I can counter the second iteration of it, but I don't really see what it does here unless he's got a bolt. Five. Burst lightning to Jace. Okay, he really wanted to get rid of Jace. And as a response, we are just going to go ahead and slam a Titan here. Make him kill this. We got threats. He's only got one card left in his hand. So what we don't want to see is like a dig spell, like a preordain or a whatever. He's just going to dome me with that because it doesn't do anything to the Titan anyway. He's dead on board, and we do have a flash freeze. Well, no, now he's not dead on board. Six, seven, eight. No, he's still dead on board. Okay, we got that one. So he, it looks like he decided to go with kind of an interesting sideboard plan against us. Flash freezes came in. It looks like that's about it. Okay, so everything everything's about the same. We didn't see anything surprising. Frost Titan's good. It's hard for him to kick stuff on it. Okay, let's just do it again. We didn't have to show him uh, Nature's Claim at any point that game either, so that's pretty nice. Preordain, preordain, ravine, ravine, trap. No, we got a mulligan that. This one we can keep, though. We'll hit green for one of these Cobras at some point and make him kill it. In the meantime, we're just going to mana leak whatever he does. Ooh, that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, we're pretty dead here unless we hit... <clears throat> um, I don't know, a green mana source, I guess. I guess I should have mana leaked that. It still puts it in his graveyard, but probably still should have mana leaked it. i got to get value out of these leaks. Okay, that's a pretty nice rip. Cobra. Still not there yet, though. I need a land so I can jace into... Uh, what's it called? Jace into a... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna explore here, just gamble. Alright, that wasn't it. I mean playing a cobra there still relies on us drawing a land the next turn. Gives him something to kill, but I Alright. I'm gonna do the same thing. Get there. Nope. Keep on bricking. It's not too bad though. This deck's actually in a reasonable does that no okay we've got 27 lands in this deck so it's not like a big deal okay there's our nature's claim so yeah let's let's do this right now actually wait he can just leak and then we can't leak him back okay that's not the best play I've ever made in my life He's going to enter the royal it. Yeah, that happens. I guess we set him back a good amount. Now I can flash freeze it. Yeah, now I guess I can just flash freeze it and hope he doesn't have leak. But with only three mana, we're just kind of up against it no matter what. Leak away, sir. Yep. It all happens, just like you planned it. Well, that's a nice rip. And believe me, we will take it. Uh, yeah, no play. We really need to hit some lands here. This kind of sucks, because we've gone through a decent portion of our deck as well. All right, well, let's get a Cobra in there. And then let's explore. So we need to set up for a land drop. Okay, well, we can still do it, though. 
He's just not going to let us go off. Um, Oracle is last. I'm going to add green. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, yes, I would like to do this. Green. Explore. And get another land in there. Okay, so we're scratching our way back here. We can start casting. Yeah, he's going to just start burning us out. So we need to really turn up the heat here and start casting big spells on him. Because he's just going to go for the dome plan here. Oh, that's a sick rip. That is going to hurt pretty bad. Okay, so the play becomes Oracle. He might be afraid to mana leak it. Or not. Okay, that's all right. We're still looking all right. We can hit a land. We can go Frost Titan on him. All right, we'll just do another Oracle. Hit some lands. Ooh, not exactly what we wanted. See if he kills it. He might just ignore it. No, he killed it. All right, well, we're going to get to stick Jace, or if we draw a land. Well, actually, we knew we weren't drawing a land, but... Jace the Mind Sculptor. Does he resolve? He does. All right, let's draw three. Make him use a bolt on Jace. We just need to hit a land here anyway. There's one. This can go... This doesn't matter. Okay. So we are going to get to hit Frost Titan next turn. He bounces Jace. Oh, he just wanted to draw a card. Okay, sure. All right, well, this is quite a battle here. Ooh. Wish I had a uh, spell pierce for that. My goodness. He's going to... Let's see what he does. He goes top, bottom, bottom, top. All right, so he got two cards he wanted out of the deal, and apparently one of them was a Scalding Tarn because he wants to be able to counter. What does he want to be able to counter? Jace? I think I'm just going to go with a Jace here. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I can actually get value out of this mana leak finally. About time. Should have mana leaked that first play he did, but I guess this isn't too bad either. Get that out of here. All right, Jace. We're going to get this Inferno Titan, but we're going to get a red source. We are. Cobra seems less relevant. I don't want to shuffle away any of these, so I'm just going to put Jace on top and drop the Tarn here. All right, so now we are in full overdrive mode here. We are just simply going to drop the Inferno Titan. He's bolting Jace, I hope. Yeah, that's much better for us than the alternative. See beyond. Yeah, he's just trying to race us with these... Uh, He's just trying to race us now. Okay, we can crack this now, get red. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stick a Titan, maybe? Could get Flash Frozen. It does. It's okay, because we can't play against Flash Freeze anyway, because we're holding one in our hand. But next turn, we should be able to stick Frosty the Titan, which is pretty good. For, oh man, that's devastating. All right, let's see what he does. Top, bottom, bottom, top, top. So he kept two again. Copperline Gorge, not the land of our dreams. Frost Titan. Resolves? Does, okay. We will tap down one of his mountains. He's definitely going to have a hard time dealing with Frost Titan here. And the next turn, one, two, three, four, activate, one, two, three. We need to hit another land, but I am going to, I am going to uh, activate the Raging Ravine, though. I don't care about Jace. I've got enough to win on the board right now. He can 
pay into the royal and bounce and pay for it to bounce a titan and draw a card but that's basically his whole turn so that's pretty good Ooh, that's got to be the play because we can we can have no we can't have counter backup but that's pretty good play all right we will tap down a mountain that hits him nice still had oops that's not correct Okay, let's let's play for real. How about that? T keep two of his mountains tap potentially. All right. He taps it for mana. He's going to burst lightning and we are definitely going to flash freeze that. Because at this point, he needs to deal with our board, and his deck is ill-equipped to deal with two Frost Titans. So, <clears throat> okay, that Tech Edge was a nice rip because we had him dead. Oh, Koth? Oh, that's interesting. He can't attack, though. Hmm. I guess we do need to kill Koth. We'll Jace it up here and see what happens. He's out of cards, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and Fate Seal him here and see what he's going to draw. Burst Lightning. He can have Burst Lightning. Yeah, this sucks, but we're, we're going to have to send one guy at Koth, I guess. Uh, that and that. Actually, I should just probably do the tech edge and force him to uh, ravine, but I think he's going to ravine anyway. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Okay, so we get Koth off the table. This is looking quite fine here. Six, we've got him dead. Yeah, he's just dead. He's only He's got a burst lightning that doesn't do anything. All right, well, that was a bit of a grind. I haven't actually played that matchup before. It was kind of, well, I don't know what he's doing now, but nothing changed, right? He didn't fetch or anything? No, he didn't. Okay. That was a fun game, though. Jeez, that was actually a, a weird matchup. I can't wait to actually uh, look back at the replays on that. Anyway, so I just wanted to, to do a quick fun, I mean, because I do play Constructed. I'm not amazing, obviously. Um, I tend to specialize more in Limited. That's where I feel a lot more comfortable, but I really do like playing Constructed, and I like picking up a good deck like Rug, and Rug has been so good to me in these two-man queues. And uh, so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video, so uh, thanks for watching.